Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Blindfold Scrabble, where I'll be playing against the one and only Hastybot without being able to look at the board. Hastybot and I have had some pretty epic blindfolded battles in the past, so be sure to check those out if you haven't already. I'll post the links in the description of this video. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to hit Create Game, and then put on my blindfold, and let's see what he opened with. Opponent. Eight. D K R A A L twenty eight. Okay, so he plays crawl for twenty eight. A F G I L N W. Okay, so we have flowing, which yeah, it does play. It plays uh, above crawl. F A L A A L. And I believe that is the only place it plays. So we will play flowing at 7F. Is that correct? Yeah, 7F. Seven 7F. Opponent. H one P Y R E X I A L sixty three. Wow, that is a sick play. Pyrexial to the A L from the A in flowing, and the L in crawl. Wow, that is pretty cool. Let's see what we got. A E F N O Q U. A E F N O Q U. Wait, can I have um I have qua above flowing now for like sixty five, don't I? Because wait, did it get blocked? No, because pyrexial went to the A and then the W is there. Yeah, no, I can just play qua. Okay, so that's gonna be at six J. Yeah, six J. Six J. Opponent. Four, H E L E C T I N G seventy six. Wow. Okay, we got a shootout here, folks. He bingos with electing, and let's see what we have. E E E F N O Y. Not the best, but we hopefully can do something with it. E E E F O N Y. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, so. Crawl, flowing, pyrexial, quad, electing. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any fives. Do I have anything with electing? Not really, right? Oh, I guess I have Fenny. Yeah, I have Fenny, right? Does that... I didn't block that with quad, did I? I don't think so. Uh... Wait. Yeah, so the UN is in the double-double line. Oh, I'm, I think I'm messing up where this is exactly. So UN is in the double double line. How many spots above the U is electing? So electing is on row four. Qua is on row six. Oh, so no, the E... No, the C in electing is... It goes C in electing, double word score, U in Qua, I think. I think. And then the N. Yeah, and then the AG is now one above. Oh, so the AG is one above the triple there, isn't it? Okay, so I could actually play like iron or iron there too, come to think of it. So that would be 29. That's not bad, but Fenny is probably worth Is it worth it? I don't know, because Fenny is 38. Do I have anything with way? No, because that would require going through an I. That's not going to work. Fenny for 38, peeping E-E-O, or Ein or Ein for 29, keeping E-F-O, which is better, but still not great. At least it gives me a scoring pile. Huh, and the score is probably pretty close. 147 to 167. Yep, that's what I thought. Uh, tough one. Tough one, tough one. Kind of am leaning towards Fenny. Also, yeah, because then at least my EEO works well with the Y opening there. Alright, I think I'm going to play Fenny. I feel like it's better. So that'll be at N2. 
two. Invalid command. N one. Nope, I don't want N one. N two. Just make sure that works. Yeah, yeah, okay. Opponent. E eight R O M E O fourteen. E eight is at. Oh, so he just played that from the R and crawl. Okay. Yeah, that part of the board is starting to get opened up now. Okay, now hopefully we got some vowels. Invalid command. E E I O S T T. Uh, what I meant to say is hopefully we got some consonants, actually. <laughs> we already had plenty of vowels, but we did. Okay, E E I O S T T. Noise it. T O synth with an N. Not much else. P Y R. It's not going to help us. E X. Okay. So and he just played Romeo. Huh. Yeah, and the N in flowing is blocked because of qua. And then above crawl, let's see. So there's F A L A A L. None of those are gonna give us a nine. So yeah, if I, I don't really have much now with age or ago. Totemize, that's not a word. To the M in Romeo. I have anything to the X in Pyrexial? Not really. Fenny electing. G, wow, I have not much here. Geest, G-E-E-S-T, that spins the S, so that's awful. I just want to fish off, like, toe somewhere? I don't even know. I mean, how do I do that well? It's not going to be easy. Uh, maybe... Wait, does exit fit through the X in Pyrexial? I believe it does not because of the Q. Yeah, because it goes E blank QI. It does not fit. Okay. Uh, huh. Yeah, I just, wow, I really can't score here, huh? Am I missing something? Really, it shouldn't be that bad. So crawl, I mean, can't even play toke there because of Romeo now. How many A's are, no, I can't, I was going to say I can play toe and T.O. and Romeo because toe takes an A and a D though. That's not going to work. It's way too risky. I mean, like, what do I even do? This is oddly bad. Really, really weird. Like, I just don't even have anything that seems reasonably good. If I play off, like, T-E-I or even, I mean... Tome? Through the M in Romeo? Like, that's so bad. It's so, so bad. Eight points? I mean... Wait, flowing? So then... Yeah, L-A... I can't even play Thai there, because that would make L-I-A-L-I. -I. It's crazy. How much time do I have left? 16 uh, minutes and time. 20 seconds to 25 minutes and 0 seconds. How do I just not have anything under Hag? It's baffling. I mean, without using my S, of course. I think I'm going to just play, like, Tome or Moat. Does it matter? I mean, I guess moat gives another bingo line. But I have the S for Romeo, so maybe I should play Tome and keep it a little bit tighter. Crawl and Rome K? No, because then it's an O right next to the... Yeah, it's not going to work. Unless I play... No, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, Alright, 
don't know, guys. Uh, I should just make a move here. Should I just play Tome? It's so bad. And I know it's, like, really bad. I just can't see, or can't visualize, I should say, anything else. At all. I mean, there's, like, Tor. Through the R and Pyrexial. Maybe that better? I don't know. I kind of want to leave that R open for myself to bingo to, though. So, yeah, I think let's just play... It's either Tome or Moat. If I want to be aggressive, maybe Moat. I think having it more open probably favors me, given I can't see. So let's play Moat. Eight points. Really, really lame. Okay, so that's at... Row 10. Column 5? Or column E. 10 E, but I gotta start from the end, so it's 10 F. 10 F. Opponent. M1 D O B I E 31. Wait. Where did he do that? Oh, next to Fenny. Oh, okay, that's a nice play. A few overlaps of B, E, and E, N through the I in electing. All right, fair enough. C, E, H, I, S, S, T. C, E, H, I, S, S, T? I think that's what it said. So, chipsets on top? I don't think there's a 7, right? Let me just make sure I heard that right. C-E-H-I-S-S-T. Alright, yeah, I've got chipsets through the P, which will... F wait. No, I don't have chipsets anymore, do I? Didn't he just block that? I can't... P... S-E-T-S... -S. Ah, shoot, I think he just blocked it by 1. That's annoying. So maybe I don't have any bingos? That would really be a shame. A G. Do I not have anything? Hope from Borders and Crawler, Romeo, Moat. How do I have nothing? Wow. I guess Moat sort of blocked to those nine lanes anyway. Other than on and AG, which are still open. On doesn't work and AG doesn't work. So now, like, I guess Ethics from Moat, right? Yeah, Ethics is solid. 45 keeps ES. We'll do that. That's at, um... Oh, uh, what is that at? That's at uh, H10, so H11, really? H11. No, I got that backwards. H11. Opponent. D10, E, T, W, E, E, 35. E, T, E, oh, emote. I forgot about emote. No, I mean, not that it would have really changed much yet, because Kitches didn't fit. So, yeah, okay. Emote and e -toy, that's a good play by him. E-I-I-R-S-T-V. Revisit Visitor, what's the score? 238 to 247. Tie game, basically. Ethics. Veristic. Uh, blocked by e -toy. pre Previsit on top. Blocked. Does this not play? Wait, ethics... Hold on, revisits... Oh, visitors! I can just play visitors through the S, worst case. Because he played e -twee. Emote, E-T-W-E-E, -E, revisits doesn't fit. And visit, revisor, revisits and visitors are both off by one. Visitors puts the S one before the double above below e -twee, and revisits puts it one after. So neither of those are going to fit. So, and there's nothing with an H, nothing with an I, un, unless there's something from the un, but that's only intrusive with those letters, and ag doesn't work either. There's still the right-hand side open, though, isn't there, with, like, 
Bingo started with a vowel next to Fenny. That's kind of scary. I think. I think that's still open. You have Verities with an E. That's not going to work. Pyrexia is, yeah, R. The R, X, P are still sort of open. Yeah, I think Visitors is my only one I can see. So that's at uh, 15F. 15F. Uh, opponent. 12. H, H, O, O, D, blank. M, O, L, D, 78. Dang, hood mold. You don't see that one too often. Wow, hood, that's a nice play. A, A, N, R, R, V, blank. We have a blank of our own. Score? 300 to 325. Close. A, A, R, R, and V, blank. Okay. So he played hood mold from the H and F, and F mix. That's a nice play. But the right is wide open. Very wide open. Tiles left. 26 tiles unseen. Three. A, A, N, R, R, V, blank. And time? 8 minutes and okay. 54 seconds to 25 minutes and 0 seconds. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, I kind of think I should uh, be aggressive here. I mean, I've got the blank. Etwee. Not going to bingo with this. Too many duplicates, right? Yeah. Got the PYR on top also. I've got... Yeah, that's about it. I've got that and the right. Otherwise, it's pretty blocked up. So... There's nothing with a D, because if Vanda doesn't reach a triple, darn for 15 is bad. Do something with Aga, but I don't even know what. I'm just worried I'm going to lose my lines on the right. Do I want to be really aggressive and play like Rave to the E or one of the E's in e -twee? Oh, right. There's also Remote, right? Does that do anything for me? Uh, Maybe. But that, no, not really. Wait, e tweet, emote, and Romeo. So that's emote, and then T A, and then W O. So yeah, not, I mean, I could play like Vera there, I guess. Or Var. Maybe Var. I don't think I need to play Rave, because I have the Y on top too. Like, I can bingo to that, or through the P. So maybe I just play Var. For 15. I mean, I'm not going to really be down, so I think let's just keep things a little bit more sane for now. I don't know. It's tempting to play Rave. I mean, I'm keeping NAR blank, and there's a D in the fifth spot of the triple triple lane. Like, I kind of want to be aggressive here. Maybe Rave? Yeah. Raven could work as well. Tough call. The N works well with the D. How many N's are left? Two. Two. N. Two more N's. N's got to increase something good percentage still, though. It's got to. All right, let's 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 go for it, guys. Let's play Rave. So Rave had, um, let's do the first E, because that'll make big plays less likely. So let's do 13A Rave. Go for it. 13A. Opponent, 8, L. What did he do there? Opponent, 8, L, A, Z, O, N, 47. Yeah, and this is, guys, this is kind of why I felt I needed to open something else up, because I, now the right is going to be tough for me to bingo through without a 9. A, A, B, N, R, T, blank. <sighs> Ab, errant, ah, it doesn't fit. Dang it. Rats, no, Rats Bane doesn't work either. I have nothing? Really? I 
I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to see a 9 without being able to look at the board. Let's see, Hood Mold. Hood Mold, Azon. Yeah, there's not even room there because of Fenny. No, yeah, okay, there's no room there. How much am I down? 314 to 372. Ay, ay, ay. Down 58. Wait, 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 wait. No. I was thinking, is the K and Crawl open for like 10 barks? I mean, Romeo is there. But the M is unfortunately. Yeah, it's close. It's very close. Like, 9 bark would work. But 10 barks. It would be 10 barks each week. So, not gonna happen. Dang, I really wish Aberrant fit. Is there anything through an A? A A A B R N T blank? A Bradent doesn't fit. I hope not. I don't think so. So maybe I should play Bran. And if he doesn't block the top, I have a good chance of bingoing to the Y or through the P still. I need to score and stay within bingo range. Yeah, I think Bran, unfortunately, is fine. Unless I play Rat. Or something like that. I could go for nine bark. But nah, I don't think that's the right play. Damn, if he did I would have had a Bradent on the triple triple if he didn't play stinking Azon over there. Ah Dang it, dang it, dang it. But he did. So Yeah, I mean Let's just play Bran. A, 12. Uh. Opponent, 5. D. Opponent, 5. D. Why is he not telling me what he did? Opponent, 5. D, U, N, M, I, okay. X, 28. Unmix. A, A, D, J, R, T, blank. I didn't want the J. Definitely didn't want the J. And how many are left? 12 tiles unseen. 2. There's e, 5 in the bag. 1. G. 1. H. 2. I. 1. P one R I can't process this two <laughs> S two S's though two U Okay. How many E's? Two two E two minutes and thirteen oh, seconds. I only have two to minutes twenty five minutes and zero I only have seconds. Two minutes. I thought I just had like eight. Ay ay ay. Um I don't know guys. I do not know. I think I need to try to bingo to that Y. I don't think I can play J. On the right, anything with that L for points? Just like Joda? Jam? Maybe Jam. No, Jam doesn't score anything, right? Hood Mold. H O O D. The M is on the double. Yeah, just Joda. Wait, is it Jodas? Yeah, it makes Jodas. That's fine. I just play Jodas, probably. I think that's reasonable. I need to play quickly, too. So, yeah, that's at, um... Oh, it's taking me so long to figure out where that's at. It's at 10th row. No, 11th row. 11th row. Second to last column. That's M. M11? Hope? M11. Opponent. O12. What the? Opponent. O, 12. D, U, G, S, 18. Okay. A, D, E, I, R, U, blank. Uh, you patrid pre audit. How many tiles left? Six tiles right. unseen. One. E. One. H. One. I. One. P. One. R unrepaid to bingo out. Let's go. S unrepaid. We win. Um, one D. 
You're not to screw this up. One D. Yeah. Whew. Wow. Um. Wow. Oh, the R was still open. I don't know why I thought the R was blocked. I'm not sure I had anything there though. I might have on a previous turn. Or no, actually, no, I, I thought of it because I was looking at Air Baron to there when I played Bran and I knew that didn't fit. Oh, I didn't even think there is sort of a sneaky line under Azon with Agar. I wonder if I missed anything there. Ant Bear doesn't fit. I definitely was not considering that as a line at all. But yeah, I, don't, I wonder if I had, maybe I had an Alpingo to the R in Pyrexia. I don't know, what a crazy game. I mean, he had some insane plays, like Pyrexia on Hoodmold with a blank M. I mean, O-O-O-D-D-L blank and he bingos? That's crazy. What a game. I mean, yeah, overall, I had this board visualized pretty much correctly the whole way through. I sort of forgot about the R at the end in Pyrexial. I'd, like, seen it and I forgot about it. I definitely did not register at all a bingo line under Azon. It's a tough one, but it is still a possible bingo line. Everything else I think I had correct. Um, and I knew unrepaid fit by one spot, thankfully, because otherwise I was completely dead. So, yeah, wow. Okay, let's let's go through this game. What a game. Um, okay, so starting from the beginning, he plays Crawl, flowing only bingo, clearly correct. Great play by him. I mean... Many people would just immediately see XI and play it without any hesitation whatsoever, but obviously Pyrexial is considerably better. And yeah, Qua looks like not much to think about either. Electing, yeah, I would play it here too. I mean, you're not really taking much of a lead, so it just doesn't make sense to sacrifice four. You're putting a G in the middle of the triple triple line. It's not too scary. Here I saw both of my options of Fenny and Ion. It's debatable. I mean, FEO is, I just decided that's, it's better for scoring a little bit to keep the F and for balance, but the F is itself just not a good tile. So I ultimately felt I'm better off just taking some points with Fenny. And EEO does go quite nicely with the right-hand side over here. Um, wow, he plays Romeo keeping three E's? Yeah, no, there's no way he should do this. He's got to exchange here, right? I mean, Eam keeping two E's and two O's? No way. Uh, yeah, I would be exchanging five here every single time. I mean, I don't know any strong Squabble players really who would play Romeo for 14 keeping three E's like this. I, I mean, you're just not at all putting yourself in good shape for the next turn, and you're giving back so much. you you got to exchange and keep a more balanced leave here. I have to imagine this is a pretty big mistake. Oh, I missed counties. Wow. Yeah, I, I knew I was messing up here. I knew there was going to be something. Okay, I didn't see Goist for some reason. I saw, I saw Geest, G-E-S-T. I just didn't register Goist, which I probably would have played. Yeah, it's 17 points. I mean, the S is so good with I-E-T, I-E-S-T. Like, normally the S is worth, like, 8 or 10 points. It's worth a lot more with I-E-T just because I-E-S-T is so good. But it's probably not worth 17, especially with three unseen. I mean, counties is obviously the best play. I just, I mean, I would have seen that in a real game, I'm pretty sure. But, like, I'm not going to see that in a blindfolded game. I definitely am not upset about that miss at all. Like, I was sort of aware of where the C and the UN were. I was trying to figure it out at, at some point for nines. But, I mean, to see a disconnected double-double non-bingo like that through two tiles is just brutal. I mean, I was looking at nines from the un- but I definitely was not extrapolating up to the C. This would have been an, a really nice play in a regular game and an absolutely sick play in a blindfolded game. Um, yeah, I saw Toe. I didn't like that. A tie is fine, but like once I'm scoring like 8 or 12 points, I'd rather just keep the best lead possible. So I think I saw Tor, but I like keeping the R open. So yeah, I think, I mean, mo other than Counties, Counties is obviously best. Goist probably worth it over Moat. It's debatable, just, again, because EIST is so, so strong. So it's debatable, but I think Goist is probably better. County is obviously the star play, so that's a miss, but a very forgivable miss, uh, given the circumstances of this game. He plays Dolby, which looks nice. Okay, good. I'm glad I didn't miss a bingo here, and I concluded properly that chipsets no longer fit. It would have been easy to just jump on chipsets, but then I remembered he just played Dolby, 
which just barely blocked it, just to demonstrate on the board. It would have played before, but unfortunately, chip sets would run into the D. Ethics is pretty clearly the best play. Oh, Ketz is really nice, but yeah, I mean, those type of overlap plays are so hard to see in a blindfolded game. Uh, ethics is, is better anyway. So that looks good. e tweet. Oh, keeping O blank. Wow. Um, visitors only bingo. Okay, I'm happy I... Uh, I mean, I'm expecting myself to see that, obviously. It's not a hard find, but I'm happy I correctly concluded that nothing else played, since that's uh, not a super easy conclusion without being able to look at the board. Uh, yeah, Hoodmold. I mean, this is just sick. Like, he has two Ds and three Os. He slaps down a Hoodmold with a blank M for 78. I mean, I, I obviously know the know the word since it's an 8, and I probably would have found it, but, I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, you get, I guess you see hood pretty quickly with this rack because you're sort of thinking you're close to lad hood or something like that. Um, and once you see hood, you probably see hood mold pretty quickly if you know the word, but but still crazy play. And yeah, here I was stuck. I mean, I, yeah, I thought about Raven over here. I, I eventually settled on Rave. I, pl I like my placement of Rave. I figured with this rave, it's just more likely he's going to have like a 69 point play or something like Zori or just some other big play. And um, this other, the other rave is just a little bit more flexible with the one I played here for bingoing with. So I think I made the better choice there. The question is Raven, is that better? I kind of liked the end because the ND has really good synergy if I'm going for a triple triple on the right, which I sort of was. And I did indeed hit one. Uh, I had a Braden ready to go. So if he had blocked the R instead, like I was kind of baiting him to, I would have actually triple tripled with a Bradens for a lot. Another option is Vero, which I definitely did not see. Again, though, the problem is, I mean, I'm still kind of trailing. I have the blank, but I don't have great scoring tiles. I sort of felt it was good to be aggressive, given I, my strength was bingo tiles, not scoring, and try to bank on him blocking one spot and me bingoing in the other, which um, I guess sort of worked. So he blocked, did I miss a bingo? A Bradent did fit! Oh my gosh. I saw a Bradent and I thought it didn't fit. I'm an idiot. Uh I think I I think I had the other rave in my head somehow when I was looking for bingos. Why oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I definitely saw a Bradent. I mean, I'm sure you, you guys heard me say a Bradent. I just I literally just thought it didn't fit. I mean the the question ironically is is there something to be said for not playing this? Because 72. I go up 14, and I'm giving back an absolutely monster spot. I mean, it's D, H, M, N, P. I'll go there. He's bound to have one of those, but I guess there is a lot of garbage unseen with three U's, and the problem is, I think after Bran, my position is probably just too weak. Like, I'm, I'm down 30. I have the blank, but... There's not a lot of spots to bingo other than the top. Yeah, there is this sneaky lane under Azon, which if I see it could come in handy. There is the K, which is going to be tough to hit. So, yeah, I mean, if he blocks the top, he'll still be down 40 or 45. I don't know. It's it's pretty tough after Grant to imagine coming back without a bingo, but it's probably possible. I think you got to take a Braden here. I mean... Like, after Azon, he could have had a rough draw. He might have kept some vowels. It's such a bad position if he scores, like, 40 there. But you could, I mean, you could also pick up, like, the J and score with it. Yeah, I think you got to take a Braden here. I mean, I'm just annoyed because I, I saw it, and I thought about playing it there, and I thought it didn't fit. I thought it went one spot off the board. I don't know why, but, I mean, obviously in a regular game I would have played it, but yeah, I just I just thought it went one off the board. Because I obviously it's not like I thought I played Rave one below, because I saw Bran immediately. And I think somehow I thought like I was thinking correctly with Bran and where the R was, because I also saw Aberrant missed by one spot. I just somehow then when I was looking through the A slipped in my mind and thought the A was one further down than it is. Because I specifically remember thinking a Braden it goes one off the board, I can't play it. So weird lapse, um, I don't know, but um, I, yeah, I definitely should have played that. But in any case, uh, I played Bran, he plays Unmix, which seems reasonable. Yeah, because like here, I mean, if I played a Braden, he's going to play Sumi or something. He can't even play Sumi, what would he have played? He would have had to play like, 
some for 30. And, I mean, he's by no means in a great position. So, yeah, Braden is pretty clearly the best play. Um, okay, yeah, Joda's is a good play here. I saw Jay, but I knew at this point I'm going to be down 30. I have the blank, but there's nowhere to bingo. Um, I'm not going to end the game well with uh, without being able to see. I just know I need to try to bingo. Uh, Jalop I did not see, but again, I mean, I'm burning my blank. There's one in the bag. I'm going to be down 5. DRT is not very great on this board for scoring. And again, just my endgame skills are going to be very subpar without being able to see. So I think, yeah, I think I got to play Jodas. I'm glad I at least was able to visualize this correctly and know that uh, Jodas was still able to fit when the S was in that spot. And yeah, he plays Dugs, which is uh, clearly a mistake. I mean, you got to block the top here, right, with, with this pull. Like, you just play Gushy and you kind of win, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't see anywhere I really bingo after Gushy. There's maybe some stuff I can have with Agar ending in, like, R-A-D-E. Upgrade would fit if, uh, yeah, I mean, upgrade, if you draw two eyes, you're just sort of losing because I have upgrade there, and I'm also going to have upgrader to the R. So I think you probably just got to block that and hope I don't have upgrade. Um, but yeah, somehow he does this, and I clutch find unrepaid, which is the only playable bingo and the only win at that point because he's got a really strong rack. Uh, I saw you Patrick pre it immediately and then unrepaid. And uh, I remembered from before that chip sets uh, missed, missed fitting by one square and unrepaid started one to the left. So I knew that it would fit. And I, I go out with unrepaid with 14 seconds left on my clock and win this game 448 to 418. So crazy clutch finish. Uh, not a clutch play with Brand missing a Braden. That was my, the really the only play I'm unhappy about. Counties, uh, I mean, yeah, in a re regular game, I'd expect myself 100% to see that. In a blindfold game, I'm not at all unhappy with missing that. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, what a crazy game. I mean, Pyrexial and Hoodmold were just really, really nice plays by the bot. I didn't have any, like, crazy finds or really, really fun words so much. But uh, but overall, I played pretty well. Um, yeah, and, I mean, other than Counties and the Bradent, I think I played perfectly. Um, and, and yeah, managed to, uh, get away with it at the end and sort of was able to benefit from Hasty Bot's lack of defensiveness in, uh, in regard to the end game there that he didn't block unrepaid. And luckily with 14 seconds to spare, I found unrepaid and got it down. So yeah, happy to come away with this win. Really, really fun game. And, uh, and yeah, that's it for this one. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll, uh, I'll try to do more of these because they're, uh, they're really fun to record and I think they're really good for my brain and just saying in practice in general. So uh, they're great all around. And, uh, and yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.